I've always wanted a TR92, but I never thought I would like it. I purchased this uh, on eBay. It was being sold as is for parts. So the person who was selling it apparently didn't know how to use it. So the listing uh, in the description it said that the calculator turn, turn, turns on, but it doesn't work. So I asked the guy to send me pictures of it. He sent me uh, two pictures, one of uh, the screen off, and the second picture was this right here. It was just uh, a contrast issue. Okay, so all, you, all I had to do was just uh, uh, setting the contrast. But since it was being sold as is, you know, I didn't know what was going wrong with it, so I just decided to gamble. And uh, yeah, so this thing is almost unusable. Seriously, this is my very first time using the TI-92. It is essentially the same thing as the Voyage 82, I mean 89 and 89 Titanium, but with a much, much worse display. But I can understand when this thing first came out in 1995, it was probably ahead of its time because this pro this must be uh, this must have been a, a really big deal in, in 1995. This is actually the first Texas Instrument calculator with a computer algebra system in it. So this was a big thing for TI. This was a big thing for calculator enthusiasts at the time. So I can understand that. And uh, the display 1995 probably wasn't a big of a deal. But by today's standards, I mean, we are spoiled with uh, color display, so you, you you probably get what I'm coming from. But this thing is just, uh, yeah, you, ooh, it really hurts, man. Such a beautiful device, such a nice hardware, but the display just uh, ruins it for me. But thankfully, the 92 Plus has a much, much better display. Okay, so before you say, oh, maybe uh, your unit is bad. No, it's not bad. Uh, when I got it, the first thing that I noticed was the bad display. And I immediately went online and, you know, tried to look for reviews, forums, threads. And oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> it's not just me who finds this display trash. A lot of people did find it trash, you know. But all those people were not from the 90s. I mean, I, all, all those people were... Some of those people were not even around when this thing came out. So yeah, I definitely understand that uh, maybe this is the best they could have done back in the day, even though I doubt it. But yeah, there is that. And the difference between this and the Voyage, there's actually a lot of differences, okay? So first this came out in 1995, the Voyage came out seven years later in uh, 2002. This one, uh, cannot be upgraded so the, fir the firmware you get with this is the firmware you're gonna be stuck with for the rest of its of its life so this one is uh, running the one of the very first firmware to check it you press uh, F5 here diamond key and the open parenthesis key yeah you probably cannot even see this through the camera so and I cannot do anything about that as you can see this is a firmware 1995 and I had I have uh, the uh, version 1.4, which is from November 17 of 1995, and I'm gonna be stuck with this. And uh, that is fine. That's totally fine. You know, I like it either way. You know, I said at the beginning of this video that I, I never thought that I wouldn't like it, but you, I just don't like the display about this character. The display just ruins it for me, and uh, this can never be my. Uh, my daily driver. I cannot even program on this. The main reason why I have the Voyage is uh, to write programs because writing programs on the 89 or even the 89 Titanium is just, uh, I don't even know if people who do that, I really have a lot of questions for you guys because it literally makes no sense to write program on this. You can literally spend a minute just trying to spell out a word and with the, with the Voyage, is you know, it's a typical keyboard layout. You can easily write programs on here. so very easy and that's something I can never do on this thing right here never even though you can write programs they have essentially almost the same pro programming feature but uh, the voyage is going to be slightly advanced but uh, there is a uh, there's a way you can write program on a voyage uh, that are going to be uh, that are going to be able to run on the uh, on 92 as well you know it's just, it just depends on how you write your code 
but yeah like i said earlier thankfully the 92 plus has a much better display the 92 plus uh, display is equivalent to the voyage so that's a good thing so that's probably uh the one i'm gonna be looking uh looking for i actually kind of got lucky i got this uh i paid about 20 dollars for this uh shipping included and uh for 20 dollars it's not really a bad deal it was actually a great deal if you ask me but I'm lucky that I didn't because I was getting ready to purchase uh, three of these you know because I just figured you know I just figured it was just going to be slightly slower than the Voyage and since I've had the 89 I thought that uh, the speed of this is going to be equivalent to the 89 but that's not even the case the 89 is more uh, is more like uh, the 92 plus and this is just the regular 92 okay so the 92 plus is what everybody wants you know this i mean you can just i guess you can just have it for the sake of it if you are a collector like myself you definitely want it but uh when it comes to uh productivity the 92 plus is going to be much better this one is missing a lot of functions it's missing a lot of features i can go through i, I let me just go uh let me just dive into the features it is missing for me so obviously it does not have a uh, the clock because that wasn't a thing back then 1995 so this one does not have a clock and the app also does not have uh, a graphical user interface like we are used to with uh, uh, the Voyage the 89 titanium even the 89 it is worth mentioning though that when the 89 first came out in 1998 uh, that wasn't even a feature so the uh, graphical user interface we are used to now came uh, came over the year with uh with uh, with updates i believe that was introduced in 2000 uh, 2004 i believe i could be wrong or 2005 i could definitely be wrong but that definitely didn't come up uh when this thing dropped or even when the 89 dropped those were uh, updates and this cannot be updated so you are stuck with this and uh another thing is uh the redundancy with the uh, the voyage is that let's say if you are in uh let's say you are in f2 you are scrolling uh down these functions the very last one with the voyage or any other ti uh, uh with computer algebra system if you keep pressing the down arrow it's gonna you know it's gonna uh, go back to the top but this one does not do that as you can see you know you have to go back there it's not a big deal, but you know it's a minor, um, it's a minor, you know, it's a minor, minor convenience. You know, it would have been nice to have that. But something that surprises me very much is the catalog here. So, if you we go to catalog, as soon as you hold this key, it's gonna stop scrolling almost immediately. But that's something no other TI calculator has that. They take a crazy long time which which is really irritating as you can see you know it takes about two seconds for it to start scrolling here but this came out in 1995 27 years ago and that one scrolls through the catalog now not just the catalog but even the uh, uh the regular use uh, on on the uh, on the uh on other interfaces like uh here it scrolls so quickly as you can see almost no delay and even here as you can see it just uh, scrolls so quickly but the voyage does not have that the 89 titanium does not have that the 89 classic doesn't have that that's just weird you see you have to hold the key for a long time for for it to register your input that's really annoying that's that's the number one thing i dislike about the ti about ti calculators even the inspire does it i got an inspire right here let me let me talk let me show you what i'm talking about so catalog okay so the inspire does not do it but it could be a lot better the inspire is fine yes. yeah the inspire is, def is definitely fine oh you can you probably can't even see this it's too bright let's see so this is what i was talking about you know the inspire scrolls through uh, these things uh, very quickly even in the catalog it scrolls through this very quickly but the voyage it takes forever 
and it starts scrolling. Up. And with the 8092, it's almost instant. It's almost as fast as the uh, uh, the Inspire. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, one, two, three. As you can see, it's almost instant. So that's something I really like about this calculator. I really hope the 92 Plus is going to be like this, uh, <laughs> except with a better display, but we'll see. So this is my quick overview about the uh, TI-92. I really, oh man, I really wish, I really wish this had a much nicer display. And uh, it's also missing a lot of features, such as uh, some of the trick functions. You don't have the second functions. You know, you don't have uh, second functions. I know some of you might say, some people might say, oh, well, it doesn't have second function. You can always do one over cosine of x. You are the type of pro people that are wrong with this society. You are the type of people we don't need, we don't need in this society. Anyways, enough for this rant.